because Python is one of the most popular languages in the world, and that has a reason, because Python is first Python is quite easy to to learn in the sense that it's, it's very beginner friendly. Python has a um, a more intuitive syntax, and also you can find a ton of of resources everywhere on, online on internet to help you. So courses, materials, blogs. So it will help you a lot. And on the other hand, if you are already a, an experienced programmer, maybe you are already familiar with some compiled languages like Java or C, and Python can also be very useful for you to complement your, your weapon. And, uh, and also learning Python will be a piece of cake for you. So Python is a very, very versatile language. We can find a lot of use cases for Python. From small things like you have a spreadsheet, you want to write a script to quickly analyze some of your data, or you want to scrape the web today to get the headlines of today, the news, or to big things like you, if you want to make some serious web services. We have in Python, we have Django, we have uh, Flask and different packages to do that. And as I said before, if you want to do some serious machine learning and machine learning AI things, of course it's Python. On some specific tasks, Python might not be the best choice. For example, Python, we know it's an interpreted language, so it is a little bit not that fast compared to compiled languages because the language is not compiled to a machine code. So if you want to do something very time critical, you might not want to use Python. Or maybe if only one part of your, your, your module is very time critical, you can write that in C and then use that in Python. Is that still possible? Um, another thing I see is that Python is a very high, lang uh, high level language, so it's not that suitable for uh, low level tasks if you want to interact with your hardware or operating system or for example like this, embedded systems, maybe you would like to use other languages instead of Python. Python also comes with Jupyter Notebook where you can combine your code and your output, figures, images, so that you can tell a perfect story from your data. That's very, very important for data science. And by the way, Sonar Linked just released the support to Jupyter Notebook.